Now let's crochet body two, working into a magic ring. Wrap the yarn around your fingers like this. The loop on your middle finger becomes a magic ring. We use the thicker end of the crochet hook. In round one, start from a chain stitch. Insert hook into a magic ring. Wrap the yarn and pull through the magic ring. Yarn round the hook. Pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's one chain stitch. Then work six single crochets. Insert hook into a magic ring. Hook the yarn and pull the yarn through the magic ring. There are two loops on hook. Yarn round the hook. Pull the yarn through both loops on hook. That's one single crochet. Such a V shape stands for one stitch. Place a marker in the first stitch. Then continue to finish the remaining five single crochets. Insert hook into a magic ring. Pull up a loop through the magic ring. Yarn round the hook. Pull through both loops on hook. That's one single crochet. Repeat to finish the remaining four single crochets in the same way. Okay, six single crochets are finished. Then pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. In round two, we work six increases. We work in a spiral, so you don't need to join the round at the end. Just start the next round from this marked stitch on the previous round. Increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. We need to finish six increases in round two. Place a marker in the first stitch. We need to work two single crochets in each of the stitches. You need to work two single crochets in the same stitch. There will be six increases in round two. Six increases are finished, so round two is done. In round three to four, we work 12 single crochets in each round. Place a marker in the first stitch. 
work one single crochet in each of the stitches. There will be 12 single crochets in round 3. Okay, round 3 is finished. Now we start round 4. Also work 12 single crochets in round 4. Also place a marker in the first stitch. Now round 4 is completed. 